well, the sun is shining right now. But about two minutes ago, oh, I thought they might wait, but they didn't. Okay, uh, a few minutes ago, I uh, uh, we had a we had a pretty cloudy here. In fact, it looked like uh, rain moving in. But anyway, I kind of lost my train of thought here. Uh, what I wanted to say was, one of the viewers was mentioning, I think it was Martin, mentioned that if I try to uh, uh, to tin uh, the, this ring, I'm apt to uh, have it warp on me. So what I want to do is, uh, do you remember about, uh, oh, well over two years ago now, Tony sent us a practice model. It was a, a model of a one uh, 350 scale ship that, that he had started to build and then lost interest in it and he thought maybe I could use it as a practice mule and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find uh, some railing here that's, that's about the same uh, uh, gauge you might say as this and just sort of uh, practice on it this morning at least, at least that's the plan and so what's with the the uh, surveillance monitor out? Well, that's that's the uh, that's the old system. The new system is supposed to come tomorrow. So just fair warning, if it comes, uh, I'm going to be, you know, busy unboxing that and uh, looking at it. Maybe I'll show it to you. Maybe I won't. I don't know what's going to happen here yet. I don't even know when it's going to come. It says it's supposed to be delivered by the end of the day. Anyway, let's let's get going here and see if we can't. Uh, get ourselves uh, some railing here. I'm noticing that it appears that the the bottom rail of the of the of the railing is about the same uh, th thickness you might say or width. My width would be better. I think they're both about the same thickness. Um, anyway, let's let's uh, enough talk and uh, let's get at it here. Alrighty. Now you'll notice here we've got our, what I consider the bottom railing and the top railing. Well, I'm thinking that this this one right here that I'm touching right now is closest to what we're actually going to be doing. So I'm I'm just going to quickly cut cut this off here. Maybe not so quickly. We just need maybe a couple of inches of it. Now I know there's going to be little pieces of tab stuck on it. Did I get this one? Yeah. Okay, I think that's going to be enough to, uh, you know, we'll just try and tin that whole thing and see what see what happens to it here. And uh, you know, does it change shape a lot or? Now this uh, liquid flux here. I've had this for many years. I had thought that this might have been the original bottle I had since, you know, when I lived at home as a teenager, but it could be that this is the, I know we've had it for many years anyway, it's another Canadian tire product. Same store as the ladder came from. Now, what we're going to do here is just uh, use this piece of sprue and, uh, just sort of now I <clears throat> excuse me I know it's not going to uh, tin very good where it's up near the clamp because the, the clamp is going to act like a, a heat sink Okay, I, I would think that the, that that uh, photo etch has been, you might say, saturated with the 
with the acid, so I don't think it's going to get much better than that. Okay, we managed not to spill it. Okay, I've got our uh, tip set at 370. Now all we want to do is just is just tin this. We we don't need to. Uh, It's supposed to be a low temperature. Let me just increase the... Uh... Okay. I know I didn't get the uh, record button going in time, but that is tinned. Well, it didn't warp, but on the other hand, it's pretty grungy, and uh, normally something like that I would clean it off, uh, but uh, if I try to clean that off, I'm going to bend it, but it didn't warp. I'm wondering if uh, I should try another tactic here. We are going to make ourselves a pretend spider here or canopy rack or whatever it is. It'll just be a, a four-legged one. I'll try and get this so it's more or less okay I need a little weight. There we go. Just to hold it down here like that. All right. Now, toothpick. All right, maybe I should get my other glasses on so I can get just a minute amount here. I think the other end is more pointy. Okay. Now, the idea is when we come down on there with the solder now I know it's going to burn the paper, but that's all right. It should wick its way in. At least that's the plan. Let's stick the macro lens on. Okay, I'm hoping that there's going to be enough uh, solder on the tip there. Maybe not. Maybe I'll turn the temperature down a bit. Okay, I got it at 350. And I sampled more solder. Well, it's not building up the way I thought it should. I wonder if maybe the flux didn't get underneath between the two parts. Now, undoubtedly, there's people screaming at their monitor saying, Ron, you got it. You, you don't need to do it anymore. Well, we got it for sure that time. 
Okay, we still have the macro lens on, we're just backed off a bit here. Did I get those more or less even, or no? All right. Maybe we'll just use my fingers. Get this one a little bit more here. Whoops. Try it now. Uh, no. I shouldn't really be using these tweezers to pick it up because when I squeeze on it, I, I flatten it out. Come on. Yeah, it's getting pretty close. Okay. You know, this photo etch is, is a little bit different from the photo etch that came with the hood. At least, at least I think it is. Okay, so now let's see if it if there's a way that we can fasten. Well, I'll, I'll reset up and then we'll talk about it. I thought I'd better get to the computer, edit out these last few scenes. I'd taken quite a few and I didn't want to get myself too far behind and all of a sudden find out I had a lot more than I thought I did. And that has happened. Anyway, I'm sitting here and I'm looking uh, up in my computer monitor. Actually, I wasn't looking up, but I saw movement in my peripheral vision and I looked up and I see a rider truck coming by. And it's stopping right in front of my house, and I'm thinking, well, I'm expecting a UPS truck, and I thought, well, I do know that if they have a breakdown or something like that, they're going to rent a truck. I mean, I was in the in that sort of business with Greyhound and Grey Goose, and uh, that's what we did. If we, we broke down, we rented a truck. I mean, uh, the Express had to go on, sort of like the mail. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it till tomorrow. Um, but as Gomer Pyle used to say, surprise, surprise, surprise. Now my reason for doing the box opening on camera, well, how else would you do a box opening, is if there's anything majorly wrong inside the box, I want to be able to show Lorix. I do not have any idea how they pack this. There will be more than one of these. We'll take we'll take this to the uh, model table and uh, we'll take a look at one of them. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to assume that uh, in all likelihood this is would that be more cameras? Yeah. Now that that's odd. Okay. Oh, I see. If you buy if you buy an 8 camera system, I guess it comes like this. I don't know. That's 
Is it two different types of cameras? I guess I'll find out. I thought they were all the same. I'm glad I've got all summer to do this. Okay, this will probably be more cameras. Okay, and this is going to be what you would call the, uh, I guess it would be the recorder and the amplifier and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, properly unpackage this and uh, well I, I did say we'd take one of these to the model table didn't I? So let's, let's do that. We'll take one of these to the model table and open it and then I'm afraid I'm going to have to uh, end today's episode. Uh, <laughs> I really did think we were going to get some soldering done, but I guess that's going to be tomorrow now. Anyway, let's uh, let's go to the model table and uh, see what we got here. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually feeling a little bit, you might say, guilty about this because I don't know. I think there was people wanting to see how the soldering was going to go today, and. Uh, here we're doing something entirely different and this this really was unexpected I wasn't expecting the uh, this uh, system to come until tomorrow sometime so uh, okay let's just make ourselves a little bit of room here without damaging anything I think I got all the fragile stuff out of the way Okay, now I, now I see the difference. Now I can see why it is that uh, th th these are the exact same cameras as those other boxes of four were, except that this, this is for somebody who buys an extra camera. So I guess when they sell a 10 camera system, what they do is they give you the 8 camera system and throw in a couple of these boxes that somebody would buy like this if you know what I mean makes sense to me anyway okay we'll leave this on until the thing is all mounted up on underneath the uh, underneath the eaves okay it's it's very very similar to the uh, one I've got right the system I've got right now except that this is a lot better I can tell that right now the uh, the way the other one was it's it had little allen keys here and boy was it finicky to, to get just right this is going to be a lot easier uh, just just get it in place and then tighten this uh, this screw here yeah that's gonna be a way better much much better okay um, you know what? We're going to have to call this video quits for today, folks, uh, <clears throat> so that I can carefully unpackage the uh, the uh, recorder part of it and so on. I don't want to be getting in a hurry and damage anything, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a standalone video on this system or just sort of show it to you. Uh, uh, in, in pieces as as we work on our photo etch. Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, sorry that it's another disjointed episode here. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a good look at it later. Like maybe maybe tomorrow or it's, it's not going to be going up for quite a while. So, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>